Oh my goodness, you guys, it is sold out. This fragrance is sold out. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it does not surprise me. Hello darlings, and welcome back to Mavenville, where we discover, discuss, or dismiss fragrances. So if you enjoy that type of content, be sure to like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And also be sure to click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I wanna talk about this fragrance from the House of Memo Paris. I actually did a deep dive video going over the brand, what goes into the brand, as well as what the brand has to offer to us or to you if you want to know a little bit more about the brand and what you're spending your coins on I would definitely leave a card right up here so you can check out that video but wait do not go nowhere yes this was a fragrance that was sent to me but honey that does not mean we are not going to spill the tea on the fragrance especially when you are spending your coins you want to know what's the real tea and we're going to deliver the real tea on these fragrances so I want to thank Twisted Lily for sending me this fragrance and it is from the House of Memo Paris now this is the newest release from the House of Memo Paris. Upon researching this brand, I do see that they actually uh, offer and sell postcards. They also collab with authors, of course, perfumers who create the scents and illustrators. Illustrators are the ones who do the illustration for a campaign and the photographers is sent over inspiring photography on what the fragrance is about, the history or where the actual idea arrived from. They give you a photograph image of what this scent means to them as well as what the scent smells like and where it's coming from. This is the postcard that they created with Sherwood. So when it came, it actually came attached to the box itself. Now, the postcard for Sherwood, it has a little bit of a story and I'm definitely going to go ahead and tell you guys what the story behind Memo Sherwood is and then we're going to get into the scent. A sandalwood cream with a deep and mellow woody signature enhanced by upcycled oak wood. The plate of Sherwood is inspired by the major oak from Sherwood Forest and a wink to Robin Hood's legendary arrows. So that is the backstory of this fragrance Sherwood. It also goes ahead and gives you the memory of where the scent came from. It also gives you the focus, which is the ingredients that's in the fragrance. Also, it gives you an inspiration as to who was inspired by this fragrance. And this is the perfumer. Her name is Juliet. I cannot pronounce her last name and I'm not even gonna try. But if you want to go dig deeper into who this perfumer is and any of her other creations, this is how you find who is the perfumer and also any other fragrances that she has created. I think that is what also makes Memo Pear stand out. I really love that they actually go behind the scent and they let you know everything that's going into the perfume. So I really, really love that. And the uh, perfumer is, again, I said Juliet. It comes in a nice cardboard box. I really do love the packaging on this fragrance, especially when you are spending a hefty coin. $310, you do expect a certain type of luxury. You do expect very, very good protective packaging. You also expect something that is keepsake. The packaging, the presentation, it is all spot on for the price point. As soon as you open it, it says the journey is the destination. So all of their fragrances are ready reference to a destination. And what I really, really like about the packaging, well, here's the bottle inside, but it is a map on either side of the box. And on this map lists all the collections. And with the collection, it lists the actual fragrances that's part of the collections in coordination with the map. That is so unique. Okay, so moving on to the bottle, let me get up close so you, so you can see. Very, very nice. And if I turn it around, you can see it is frosted on the back with a gold cap. And the gold cap does have the emblem of Memo Paris. Very, very nice and heavy is what I really, really love about this. 
The main accords is woody, powdery, musky, warm, spicy, white floral, and rose. Now, the notes that's in this is carrot seeds, black currant, pink pepper, orange blossom, rose, spices, sandalwood, oak, and cashmere. Now, let me go ahead and give this a little bit of a spray for Sherwood. And I don't care if it gets on my hand. I just accidentally did spray my hand. But you guys... Wow. So what you get from this Sherwood is you definitely pick up the creaminess. It's so creamy. It's almost like balmy creamy. It's like emollient, almost like a really slippery, nice body cream is the texture that goes with the scent. So that is the texture that I'm getting, even though you can't smell balmy, okay? Well, you technically can't smell balmy. It immediately reminds me of a very luxurious body cream. Very luxurious body cream. But you do have those notes of carrot seeds, you have black currants, you definitely have those woody notes of sandalwood, and you guys, there is a nuttiness to this. I'm kind of thinking the nuttiness is coming from the carrot seeds. I've never smelled carrot seeds in a fragrance, but it kind of puts me in the mind frame. Now that I think about it, it puts me in the mind frame of Prada La Femme from Prada without the tuberosey, without the beeswaxy type of texture and feel, but this is definitely creamy and emollient like Prada La Femme, okay? This is strictly sandalwood, and I do struggle with sandalwood. Sandalwood is a little abrasive to my nose. Now, the type of woods that I actually prefer, I know this is not about what I prefer right now, but I just want to give you an idea of what I mean by the woodiness of a fragrance. Now, the woods that I prefer is more along the lines of cedar. It's a little bit softer. You still get that woody vibe but it's still it's softer it's something that kind of makes the fragrance a little bit more alluring when it has a woody base now dealing with sandalwood sandalwood can come off a little abrasive a little harsh and usually when sandalwood is heavy in a fragrance you can definitely tell because it's the wood stand out now another woody uh, type of element is vetiver. Vetiver is just a little bit more grassy. It's a little bit more like field grainy grassy type of woody is what I get from vetiver. Just a little bit more smoky, but sandalwood is more abrasive. Sandalwood is more of a harder wood is what I get. Now, this is a creamy sandalwood. This is an emollient type of woody fragrance. It's definitely woody. And what I really, really love is that you get sandalwood from beginning to end. And this lasted 10 hours on my skin. And when I tell you, I was afraid to spray this on my skin when I first got it. Of course, I did all of my research. Of course, I looked at the notes. I looked at the packaging. This is labeled as unisex, okay? The bowl, the arrow, the woods, the campaign, it was a little scary at first. I, I will admit, I was afraid to spray this on my skin because I'm really not into more unisex type fragrances, but I'm here for the smell goods. When I opened this up and I did like this, I didn't even have to spray it. I said, whoa. I immediately ran and had my husband smell this cap, just the top. I didn't even spray it yet. He said, that smells good. That smells good. I said, I know. So I had to go ahead and I had to test it. So I took me a bath. I lathered myself up really, really good with my body cream, which I use Nivea. And I sprayed one and I did like that, and I went to bed. Honey, let me tell you, this smelled amazing. And I was able to smell this after I woke up. I smelled it on my pillowcase. I don't know how, if my hands was all up here, because I do sleep a little while, but when I woke up, it smelled amazing. Now, the lasting power is what really gets me, and that was just one spritz and a touch like that. 10 hours! Yes, it is kind of soft though. You do have orange blossom and you have rose. Now, this is definitely not a prominent orange blossom scent. It's not a prominent rosy scent. If anything, it's soft. It kind of puts me in the mind frame of jasmine, but a jasmine that's sitting way in the back, way, way, way in the back. 
type of jasmine. So that is what it puts me in the mind frame of. Now, the key thing is, this is described as a unisex fragrance. To me, it's genderless. My husband and my son said it does lean a little feminine, but it does smell really good. And it is something that someone who, especially a male, that does enjoy the note of sandalwood, where it's not like, Rrr, type of sandalwood. It's more of that, huh, type of sandalwood. Yes, you will absolutely enjoy this scent. On the feminine side of this fragrance, it is like buttery, it's creamy, it's emollient. It's nutty, it's very sensual, and what I really get is the nuttiness from the oak and creamy sandalwood. This is like buttery, balmy type of goodness. Genderless, last 10 hours on this skin, that was just with one spray. So I could imagine four sprays, oh my goodness. You're talking head turning, compliment getting type of fragrance. This is definitely it. I will honestly say this Sherwood from Memo Pierce definitely gets the Ronda Larissa approval. And I wanted to give you guys my thoughts. And again, thank you Twisted Lily for sending me this fragrance to give my opinion on it. This Sherwood is sold out on Memo Pierce's website, but it is definitely available on the Twisted Lily website and also the sample you can try this. Try before you buy. I preach that to the fullest. I do not recommend blind purchasing fragrances, especially at this price point. You want to be cost conscious. You don't want to end up with something that you just, you know, may not like and you can't return and all of that. And it was expensive and you don't really like it. So you definitely can try before you buy. But I highly recommend that you try this fragrance. Okay, this is a beautiful scent. This is going to be perfect for the spring. Actually, I think this is perfect all year round. This is a seasonless type of fragrance where you can wear it any time of the year, any time of the day, at any time, point in place. You can definitely wear this fragrance. So try it out. The sample is $5. I will leave it linked down below. So definitely check out my description box. Okay, so here we have it. Sherwood from the House of Memo Paris. Again, thank you Twisted Lily for sending me this fragrance to share with my audience. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.